Out front now, Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu from California, who sits on the House Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committees. So Congressman, the president signs his first veto, says he's proud to do it. Obviously, this will go back to the House, does not appear you have the votes to override. So his veto would stand. What now? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Aaron, for your question. Let me first say that my heart goes out to the families and victims of the tragic mosque attacks in New Zealand. Regarding your question, what's significant is not the veto. What's significant is that both houses of Congress, with clear bipartisan majorities, rebuked Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. That's going to help us in our court case because there's no way that Congress would have intended a law to be interpreted in such a way that we would have allowed the president to bypass our appropriations powers when both houses of Congress just said no to him. So I think this really strengthens our court case. All right. So when you say it strengthens your court case, of course, uh, the president's attorney general spoke out today and seemed to obviously think he's got the legal upper hand. Here is uh, President yeah. Trump and Attorney General Barr. And they're not going to be able to override. It's going to go very quickly. And uh, we have a great, as, as your attorney general just said, the case is a very strong case, very powerful case. It was, I think, actually, national emergency was designed for a specific purpose like this. Yeah, so we have a great, we have a great yeah, uh, case. And that absolutely, absolutely, obviously, was the attorney general Barr. You're a former prosecutor, Congressman. Do you think that Barr's right? Trump is right. They've got the, they've got the upper hand. Uh, absolutely not. Congress passed the national emergency law for the president to act when Congress could not, if there was a time issue, if there was a real national emergency. Congress not only acted, we acted to say no with clear bipartisan majorities. So I think we're going to win this court case. But just in the facts alone, there is no national emergency. Based on Trump's own data from his own administration, Border apprehensions have declined 75 percent from 2000 to 2018. And based on the FBI's latest data, violent crime and property crime are both down across America. Uh, you know, Pamela Brown, I wanted to ask you just a moment ago, was talking about the dossier, right? Uh, the Steele dossier, obviously highly controversial. Uh, she was reporting on another part of it uh, that may prove to be true, which specifically referred to how Russian intelligence hacked into Democratic targets during the uh, presidential election. Do you think that there are more revelations like this to come, further things that would prove uh, the dossier to be true? It's certainly possible because over time, more and more allegations in the Steele dossier have been confirmed and Fair. corroborated. And in fact, those who have read it and those who have gone through it don't say it's false. So Devin Nunes's memo that he wrote uh, with the House Republican intelligence staff they say the dossier contains salacious details. They never say the dossier is false. So I think as we go uh, more and more into this dossier, you're going to see more and more items being corroborated. All right. I want to ask you about the uh, news tonight. Three House committees, your foreign affairs are among them. Uh, you said deadline that the State Department and the White House were going to, this was their night, the day, right? They've got, I guess right. they've got till yeah. midnight, right, to give you uh, the, the information, the details about President Trump's meetings with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Have you gotten anything yeah. from them at all? I've gotten no indications from either my staff or committee staff that we have gotten any information from the White House. I would be pleasantly surprised if we actually got this information because Donald Trump tried to hide this information from his own administration. And what are you going to do about right it now, to get them to comply? Do you have any other tools? So right now, the administration has been quite obstructionist, and they are denying and, and really not trying to work with Congress on a number of requests that different committees have put forward. So if they do not provide this information that we requested, we're going to try to continue to negotiate. But at some point, we're just going to have to start issuing subpoenas. All right. Thank you very much, Congressman Liu. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Aaron.